Hey, so if I tell you that an organic compound has five stereocenters, and when I say a stereocenter, I mean a carbon with four different substituents bonded to it, I want to know how many stereoisomers of this particular compound is possible. So I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so the formula involved is 2 raised to the n power. And n is equivalent to the number of stereo centers. Okay, and I told you that there are five stereo centers, so this 2 to the n becomes 2 to the fifth power, and so that's equivalent to 2 times 2, which is 4, times another 2, which is equivalent to 8, times another 2, which is equivalent to 16, and multiplied by one more 2, which is equivalent to 32. So 32 different stereoisomers are possible, and when I say stereoisomers again, I mean enantiomers, diastereomers, or cis-trans isomers if you have a double bond involved.